Uh, Marion Island is a space I've created with the help of generous artists and some wonderful Empire State College students. When you first land, you'll come into this central area, which is very much under development. Right now it's being designed into being a beautiful landscape. Of course, you can fly around to see the areas that are involved, but I'm opening the map icon on the bottom towards the right and this gives me perspective from an aerial view of all the components of the island. Now being mindful that this island was created for meetings but also as a warehouse for students who are developing islands, what you want to note is this is where I am right now at the general landing space but around this perimeter of this particular lower southwest quadrant are a number of buildings and there's a pathway that you can walk around and these buildings are taken by students who want to create their own environments. I invite you to visit those areas. Now you'll have meetings and events in some of the other islands. This island up here has a poster area, it has a healthcare environment, um, and it also has open meeting space. This island up here in the northeast quadrant has, within that red space, uh, areas where you can learn how to use the environment and where you can get other avatar clothing. Over here is the cathedral. This is the western building here. And this space, which is outlined in white, is for developers to go and get a lot of materials. Now, up here in the top white... <laughs> right quadrant is the villa the villa and swimming pool in the lower right southeast quadrant you're going to find the amusement park areas uh, i invite you to travel around to a lot of these different areas you can fly you can teleport but what i find is the quickest if i want to go someplace i just double click on that space so i'm going to double click into the playground area if you ever get stuck someplace, you're in the building, you can't find things, you can open the map and double, double click. That's the fastest way to get places. Um, you can fly around, you should practice those skills, uh, and you will see these kiosks at points, which are other ways to get to some of the main parts of the island. But I find the map to be the most helpful, along with flying and uh, getting around. And my final challenge to you is going to be see if you can find this masted schooner from days gone by, which is somewhere on the island, but is a bit of a challenge to get onto. So that's going to be for those of you who really uh, can do some virtual navigating.